Hi, it's Astrophilia. Um, if you didn't notice by now, this is my voice. Cool. But I normally don't use my voice for my tutorials because they're easier to explain, but this is going to be a After Effects for Beginners. This is like, kind of like strictly for, you know, my Instagram editors. Not exactly practical video editing. I just got After Effects and I swear to you guys that it confused me so much. The layout is still so confusing to me and, you know, just having to find effects and... But I can confirm to you that it really is easier for me than Final Cut Pro. Since I'm still fresh at this whole thing, it would probably be better for me to explain for people who had no idea what they were doing, just like I did like a week ago. <laughs> also, if you are like a pro at After Effects and I'm missing something or I'm doing something wrong, good for you. I don't know what I'm doing. There's like adjustment layers and whatever. I don't know what those are. Who knows what those are? I will find out at some point, but this works right now decently. <laughs> Just from good composition at the top of your screen where your little apple thing is. And you want to do new composition. Note, I'm pretty sure I screwed my whole layout of this up because you know how you can like drag things and move them? Yeah, I did that by accident and now everything is ruined. So it's okay if your After Effects look slightly different, you know? So first you want to drag your two clips over to your project thing. And there they are. Woohoo! Yeah. And you can just drag them onto your composition. So they're normally pretty long, you know. So you can split your clips by going under edit and then split layer. Or you can just trim it like this. Ah uh, yes, wonderful, amazing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so it's just easier for me to see what I'm doing. And as you can see, my pictures are a lot smaller than the actual thing. And it's just the same way as Final Cut Pro, you just can make it larger like that. Now, basically the collider, collider tile, collider tile, I don't know, the tile effect on Final Cut Pro, that is motion tile on After Effects, so you want to drag it, and I just keep it at 300, and that just, you know, affects how many tiles you have behind you. Those are how many tiles you have back there. 400, I'm pretty sure, gives you more. So in my opinion, 400 works best. So mirror edges, when you don't have it on, it looks like this, an actual tile. With mirror edges on, it looks just like the collider tile on Final Cut Pro. And you can do the exact same thing to your other clip. And boom, 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 there we go. Now. Basically what I'm going to explain is how to do transitions, and I think once you understand how to do transitions on here, everything else slowly becomes easier to understand. So you want to search for transform, and in Final Cut Pro where you have the built-in little set over here that's just, you know, scale, position, rotation, that is the transform. And keyframes are kind of interesting here. So, say I want to do a zoom in. So, well, a zoom out. I'm gonna do a zoom out. <laughs> um, now that I, you just have to click this little scale right here, and then you press U, and you'll see the tiny little keyframe looks just like it does in Final Cut Pro. Here we go. And I'm just gonna move to, move to the middle of my clip. And then you see right here, now that this is on the screen, you also have this. So you can make more. And I'm gonna go back and do 150. And it's really just like Final Cut Pro when it comes to that. And the way that you can actually make your keyframes smooth, because that is just as choppy as Final Cut Pro, <laughs> you highlight them both right click, keep it consistent, easy ease. So that makes it pretty smooth, but to make it even smoother, this is what you're going to want to do for all of your transitions. Highlight again, and you see this little graph right here, graph editor, and you want to make sure that you're on the speed graph. So just click right here to make sure you don't want to value or anything like that. 
But for your transitions, you always want to do fast in, slowly out. And that goes for every single editor. You don't want to have a weird transition like that. So now we just have to zoom in. Back on my bath editor. And you want to click on the little square dot things. And for the start of the transition, you want to pull this all the way back. And then, so that makes it go fast in the beginning. But to make it go slowly out, you want to pull the other one and you want to pull it all the way out as well. So it just looks like that. And that's really smooth if you ask me, I don't know. Do anything back out. I'm just going to make it zoom in again. <laughs> So I want to click again, and it's already on Easy Ease, because you can tell if something's on Easy Ease or, Easy Ease or not. This is what it looks like on Easy Ease, and if it isn't, it's just a little tiny triangle like this. Diamond? Yeah, diamond, that's not a triangle. Um, I'm going to go back here, and I want to go to 150. And it really is just the same keyframe-wise as Final Cut Pro, but you know that, um, the graph editor is what makes all the difference. So go. No matter what position you're in, you want to make it. If it's um, if it's end transition, you know, like at the end of your clip and you're doing a transition, you want to pull this one all the way in, and this one all the way in. Yeah. I don't really understand how to explain graph editor, but you really just have to do it yourself to understand. And yeah, so that's one clip of transitions, and to complete the transition, just like Final Cut Pro, I'm going to add the transform again, which is basically how you can do all of this. And I'm going to go to scale, and then I'm going to click U on my keyboard, and I can see the little uneasy used keyframe. And since you can see over here that I'm on this clip, you just, if you click on it, you'll see this is highlighted. Click on this one, you can see that this is highlighted. So I know that this is where I'm working right now, not here. And I'm going to see the scale. There we go. And now back to the start, I'm going to keyframe 250 because, you know, that's how you keyframe. Keyframe assistant, easy. Ah, no, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. Easy ease. <laughs> we're doing the same thing. Ah, sorry. Okay. Same thing. There we go. Wonderful, amazing, perfect. Hi guys, I'm back from the editor. I realized I forgot to mention something. Motion blur. It makes your edit worth the while. Woohoo. And it's basically, you know, it makes your thing look nice. I don't know how to explain it other than that. So anyway, you click on your clip and you see these little three dots that looks like it's a circle with the blur behind it. Yeah, that's the motion blur. So you're going to see, you see how that, you just want to click on this and then it'll do that. Then you click on this again and look, it's blurry. So cool. Let's watch it. It was great. Okay, bye. Again, comment if you want AE tutorials.